What is up, my friend? It's Kay, your pilot on today's flight. We're departing Pennsylvania. We'll make a quick stop in Virginia for fuel and then land in South Carolina. So jump in. Hey, everybody. Good morning. It is currently 10.09 a.m. and we are about to head over to South Carolina. We will be landing at Spartanburg Airport near Greenville. We have filed for 6,000 feet. We're hoping the winds are going to cooperate a little bit. We had a total blast hanging out with the Rebuild Rescue team. I flew with Jason, and that's all I'm going to tell you. Yeah, so let's get flying. All right, let's do it. If you don't know who Rebuild Rescue is, you need to go and subscribe right now. I promise you it's worth it. I will talk to you guys when we get up in the air. See you there. There's another airplane landing on Winko. Well, we have one also coming in to land on runway 11, which is the opposite runway, so we have to wait for him to exit the runway. All right, flaps R0, electric fuel pumps on, mixtures best power, car heat's off, pedo heat is off. HSI to compass looks good there. Doors and windows secured and latched. We're squawking 1200, landing lights on, strobes on, and the time is 10.07 a.m. That will say departure will be about 10. All cameras are in play. Awesome. County traffic, Saratoga on the left base for one mile, Chester County. Saratoga, Chester County, are you on frequency? I hear you talking. Do you hear us? I hear you. We're on the left base for one mile, Chester County. Yeah, that's awesome. You got three different people using 2-9 right now. County traffic to Saratoga. We're going around for 2-9, Chester County. Thank you. A little bit feisty. All right. Event is open. Chester County traffic, Cherokee 773 in November is taxiing from the run up area to be number two, holding short runway 29 or Chester County. I don't know that he even called taking off, did he? Yep. He has to wait for this airplane that was lining up for final, though. Traffic, Saratoga, left down for 29, Chester County. Six zero two on a left base for two nine. Trust the county. Uh, Cap it. Man, he smoked down here, didn't he? Thank you. That's Saratoga. Yeah. Trust the county traffic. Cap thirty seven twenty eight. Chicago. See, I would have gone. This guy waited. I would have gone before that copper chopper got here. Yeah, fun flying with Jace. Yeah. Got to be a good time, huh? I'm gonna tell him you called him Jace. He just saw it. Well, that's only if I am good enough to include this. I don't know. We'll see. Crazier things have happened. All right now, if this guy. And he's screaming. Chester County traffic here is A5 Papa Charlie. 29, uh, left, exiting through left, uh, downwind. Chester County. That's why he waited, I figured. He sounds like a student. Yeah. Look at, he's not even moving. He's fine, we're good. I know it was a while ago, but I know you remember being a student. No, I can't. I've always been... Oh, well, I'm not going to say good. I've always been a... Pilot. Way to give yourself props. <laughs> Chester County Traffic, Cherokee 773 in November is number one holding short. Two Niner will be departing um, to the west. Chester County. Here's a guy at 700 feet, but I think we can get out. As soon as he's off, I'll tell you, okay? Roger. 75, Juliet Sierra, radio check. Okay, just keep your eyes here and I'll tell you. He's close. The thing is looking good here. Yeah, we're good to go. Awesome. Bring a little bit of back trim in. Roy's windows. He's off, let's go. Matched. Chester County traffic, Cherokee 773 in November is taking runway 29 or straight out departure. Chester County. I see you. You just wait over there. Where is he? Chopper. Oh, yeah. We'll beat him out. No yeah. Traffic helicopter one out. Fox Trot's going to be final 2 9 behind that. Support you guys got plenty of time. Appreciate that. Got a little mower guy next to the runway once again. Full right. power. Everything is in the green. Airspeed is alive. Maintain center line. Feeling good and looking good. There are 60. We're downhill, so we're going to speed up pretty quick here. And 70. Start pulling back. Push that nose forward a little bit. Airspeed's coming up to 90. Looks good. 
Goodbye, rebuild rescue! Well, that was loud. <laughs> All right. Good amount of updraft up here. Yeah, I can feel that. That wasn't here earlier, huh? All right, we're looking for this guy. Still got him in sight. Yeah, it should be pretty easy to see him. There's our helipad, turn into heading 260. Still got that guy? Yep. He didn't follow the noise abatement procedure. Alright. Fuel pump off. Landing light off. Looking good. Okay. Chester turning traffic, here is E5, Papa Charlie turning out of left downwind, departing through the east. Chester County. See you later. County traffic, helicopter 1 Alpha Fox Trot, on to go, runway 29, right traffic. Chester, that's not going to traffic. Alright. Chester County traffic, Cherokee 773 in November, just departed runway 29 or to the west. Final call, have a good day everybody. Chester County. See ya. Yep. Chester County traffic, helicopter 5. Alright. Go ahead and switch frequencies. We don't have a whole lot of hills here, so you should be able to pick them up pretty quickly. There you go. 201 out of 1,100, climbing 5,000, heading to 30. Spirit 3201, fully departure, radar contact. I'm going to maintain 1, 2,000. Nothing out here, so just keep on climbing. He's still red, so I'm just keeping an eye out on him. Yeah, I've watched him go away. He's gone. He's downwind. Let's do it. All right, ready? Do your thing. I'm just going to fly. I already switched it. Oh, why'd you do that? Because I'm the pilot and I told you I was going to switch your frequency for you. You want to do this too? No. I'll let you do something on today's flight. Maybe it'll improve your mood. Departure Cherokee 7738 November. Seven seven three eight November filling. Yeah, departure Cherokee 7738 November is climbing through 2000. 300 would like to pick up our IFR. We just left MQS. Okay, so where are you going? We are going to Lima Yankee Hotel. Okay, maintain VFR. Stop it at 3000. You do have opposite direction traffic. 12 o'clock at 4000. You can squawk 0236 and maintain VFR. 0236 will stop at 3000. Maintain VFR. Thank you. 773 November. Papa Fox Trot, traffic 12 o'clock, three miles opposite direction of the VFR 2600, stopping at three. We have a traffic to Fox I don't see, it's this guy. We would have been by him anyway. Number radar contact, the altimeter is 3013. Just maintain VFR. 3013, maintain VFR. 773 November. Center, bike sir, Victor Golf number leaving 17000 across Jacob 13000. Our guy. She's gonna keep us a thousand below and that's what she's doing. Then we'll get her. Number 7738 November, contact Harrisburg 126.45. Let them know you're looking for your IFR. 12645 773 November. Harrisburg, Cherokee 7738 November at 3000, looking to pick up our IFR. Seven seven three eight November, Harrisburg. 773 in November at 3000, looking to pick up our IFR to Lima Hotel, Lima Yankee Hotel. 3 8 November, Ident. Ident. Alright, 3 8 November, I see now you're out time airspace, verify uh, your VFR coming from the Philly area. Affirmative, we are VFR, just got handed off to you from. Billy approach. Great, let me uh, pull up your uh, IFR clearance and it'll be a few seconds. Just maintain VFR. Maintain VFR. 773. The only reason I was saying. Well, I know he's going to do that. She's just like, where are you going? Yeah, but to you see need, if we because stand you or... selected a specific airport, you need to tell her that's the waypoint we're flying and our destination airport is Lima Yankee Hotel. Because if she clears us direct to Lima Yankee Hotel, she may not realize that we're going to fly right through that Washington, D.C. airspace. I think if she clears us through that, that's on her, not us. 
true, but I don't really feel like having some uh, F-35s come up to us for that. Again, they would not do that if we're talking to ATC. What if we lose our radios? 3-8 November and uh, fly heading of uh, 280. Once you get inside my airspace, I'll give the IFR clearance. 250-773 November. 8. 280, 280-3 November. 280-773 November. Well, she got rid of us way too early. That's funny. She did, she did not want to deal with us. Our 7738 November clear to the Lynchburg Airport via direct to Delro intersection. Delta, Echo, Lima, Romeo, Oscar. To join Victor 143 to destination. Climb and maintain 6,000. Climb maintain 6,000 and we are cleared to Lima Yankee Hotel via uh, Delta Echo Lima Romeo Oscar, Victor 143, then direct. 773 in November. Read back is correct. Okay. And 3 8 November, squawk 2604. 2604 for 773 in November. Try to get a little bit better climb. It's going to be Echo, November, Echo, then destination. At Potomac approach, 125.52. If you ask for uh, more direct routing, they might be able to help you. 125.52, and we might just do that. 773 November, have a nice day. Uh, it's like P something. I couldn't hear what he said. Good morning, approach. Cherokee 773 in November is checking in with you at 6,000. Turkey 773 in November, Potomac Approach, Baltimore Center 3015, good morning. 3015, 773 in November. We'll give it a second, level off, and then I'll ask. Hello, Charlie Delta, about 10 west of Hartford uh, County, we request flight following. Could ask deck direct MRB. Doesn't really matter, though. Uh, OC, New Jersey, 26 November. Potomac Southwest 3201. Potomac, that's what it was. What? That's what this approach frequency is called. That's the DC one. The Potomac's right what, by Washington, DC. Oh, cool. Sagan for Colt. Number 5115, cross water map 181. All right, everybody. So we just got up to 6,000 feet pretty quickly, actually. We've got two hours until we get to our destination. A little bit of rerouting. Uh, we actually picked an airport to fly over, but they ended up giving us a couple of waypoints instead, as well as a Victor Airway, which isn't too shabby. So that's going to keep us clear of Washington, D.C.'s airspace and obviously all of those class Bravos. We're only at 6,000 feet, and it's 46 degrees. Winds are not exactly helping us, <laughs> but they're not hurting us just yet either, so we'll keep an eye on that. But so far, so good. Heard Pops handling the radios, looking at GPS waypoints, setting up the iPad. Look at him go. A little busier airspace than uh, we're used to. Now I can talk. Now we can talk about the first controller. So we took off in Philadelphia's airspace, and we actually were in their airspace, asked to pick up IFR, and she put us on a VFR, 3,000 feet uh, heading, said maintain VFR standby and then she said she's going to hand us off to Harrisburg which is Pennsylvania Harrisburg's airspace so she washed her hands of us and threw us over to them we were not in their airspace not for about 10 minutes after that so I have never seen that before I am not an expert so all you ATC friends out there you can tell me if that's normal but I've never seen that she should have issued our IFR clearance or kept us in her airspace until we got to the next airspace so we could pick that up but she kind of just skid out so that's kind of my opinion Katie, you got any opinions about that i have opinions about that she doesn't want to say it because she wants to stay we love atc don't get me wrong so she doesn't want to knock them but i think she thinks that that was not appropriate either so actually i disagree with you Okay, so well then why would you be afraid to say that? <laughs> well, it's one of those things where it's all based off experience, right? I've never personally had that happen either, so I do understand where Pops is coming from with that. But the other thing that I want to mention too is we knew listening to that approach frequency on the ground while we couldn't pick it up on the ground, we also knew she was very busy. 
And honestly, if we were just going to be on with her for four minutes and then switch frequencies anyways, I don't personally find it that big of a deal. There was no clouds, it wasn't super busy, and we were in a safe and steady climb anyway. So I was okay with it, but I understand where all you're right. coming from too. It sounds like we need you all to go to the comments and see if you agree with me or see if you agree with Kay because we are very interested in what you think. And uh, let us know, if you are with ATC, let us know uh, that you're ATC and what you think of that too because I am very interested in that. Me too. But again, we love ATC. Don't get me wrong, I understand that you guys are really busy. Uh, and, and I know that was a busy frequency. 24, contact to departure 118.9 or 5. Nailed it. Okay, so everything is looking good. All of our gauges are in the green. We have 17 gallons in our left, 19 in our right, and we're burning about 10 gallons per hour right now, which isn't bad, especially because we're only going to be in the air for two hours. We're going to stop and get gas, maybe another cup of coffee. I don't know. We'll see. Crazier things have happened. And uh, by the end of today, we will be in South Carolina. We're staying at Spartanburg tonight. I'm going to spend some time with my best friend and go out for a nice dinner, get a good night's sleep, and... We're going to make this seven-hour trip home to Houston tomorrow. Back It'll be on. fun, huh? he has been bugging me to get home for two days, but we had a blast at Rebuild Rescue. To be fair, I just said I was ready to go home. Are you jealous you didn't get to fly with him? I'm jealous looking at Jason's guns because he freaking <laughs> works out. You know, I got to get in the gym, show him up. Everybody will still know I'm a chump. Well, I mean, have you seen my shorts with you in them? <laughs> the iPhone cord out the door. That's true. Filling coffee. He spilled more coffee today. I had to clean that up. Uh, let's see. Can you see that out there? No, I cleaned it up. Oh, I was going to say, though. Where'd it go? It looks yeah, nice out there. I cleaned it up. But he spilled more down the window on the side, and I needed to clean it up. I was not flying with coffee. Going everywhere. All right. We're finally we're turning south. Now we're headed south. We are over York, Pennsylvania. Hi, York. How are you? Any Fly OK fans down there? If you're from York, Pennsylvania, say hi in the comments. That's a big, that's a pretty big city. Yeah. All right, what is this Yahoo doing? 200 feet flying across our path here. Wow, we do not get very good radar on here, do we? I don't know what's going on. It's really dropping out a lot today. We're down to an hour and 47 minutes. I think now is a good time to take a little break, drink some coffee, hang out for a little bit. There you can see I'm rocking my fancy coffee. I don't have an easy way to cheers, so cheers. <laughs> uh, three in November, you cleared to Zulu Echo Fox right there, port via direct, and uh, it's maintained 6,000. All right, clear direct to Zulu Echo Foxtrot via direct, maintain 6,773 in November, thank you. All right, everybody, so we are going to Spartanburg and Papa's picked an airport, but with all of the different waypoints and stuff, we are kind of flying a little bit further away from where we wanted to go. So we picked a different airport that is more in line with where we're going. We'll be in the air for about two hours and 15 minutes, and we have over three and a half hours of fuel on board. So we are looking really, really good. Our second leg should be really short. So we'll hopefully be landing in South Carolina probably around 3 o'clock. 126.1. 126.1. Have a nice day. 7738 November. Thank you. Fuel pump on? Yep. 0.45. Good flight. Fuel pressure's in the green. Right tank. Fuel pump off. And fuel pressure stays in the green. And it's just like teamwork. Teamwork makes the? Pops with K. Teamwork makes the? Y'all know. What is it? Dreamworks? Yes. Teamwork makes the dream work. No. Say it fast, go. No. Yeah, I'm done, I'm done playing. I know those of you that are watching this video right now got that before he did, and I'm proud of you. Thanks for not letting me down. out here. I we were going to have a headwind all the way, but 152 is pretty good. Yeah. Winds are actually coming from the side. You should have maintained 5,400 to Vazi Airport when you get closer. 
Roger, clear direct to Whiskey Niner 1. We'll just maintain 5,400 and we'll advise when we get to field size 773 in November. Thank you. Okay, everybody, so we still had about 40 minutes until we got to our initial planned airport to stop for gas, which was uh, Zulu Echo Foxtrot. However, because of mountains, they were going to have us climb and maintain 8,000. And even though we did have the gas on board, I really just didn't want to have to deal with it, and Pops agreed with me. So now we are 8 minutes and 40 seconds away from the airport we're going to land at to fill up. Everything is looking great so far. I'm feeling good. We have been in the air for about two and a half hours. And we are descending down to 5,400 feet, looking for that airport right in front of us. So, so far, so good. We are 20 miles away from the airport. Uh, come here at 54. Did he stop you at 54? Yeah, there's a big antenna on the top of this mountain right here. As soon as we're past it, he should let us descend more. 7738 November, set to maintain 4,100. 4,100, 7738 November, thanks. We're also going to be looking out for some traffic around here. This is nearby right here, is saying 040 at 8 knots, so okay. there's not much wind. What are my two runways at the airport? Um, 050. That works for me. Okay, so you're gonna go out over the lake and back. Okay. ABM nine zero zero Mark Echo. We're good on airspace. You keep it. Yeah, there's nothing around. So keep an eye on this guy. One one eight three zero Mark Echo. See you later. November seven seven three eight November VFR Diamond traffic twelve o'clock eight miles maneuvering at uh, two thousand. Roger, we'll be looking seven seven three eight November. Thanks. Like a, looks like we're going into a uh, resort type airport. Oh, fancy. All right, and you said traffic pattern was 1800? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, this one's real low, so uh, pattern altitude, not the right one. Uh, screen, 18, uh, 1900. 19. All right. Sounds good. I did not like that herd. You just started doing that. I don't like it. Sorry. Can't help you. All right. So this runway is 50 feet wide, which means as long as it's not super windy, we should be good. But, you know, there might be a go around in my future. We'll find out all, to, all of us together. Doubtful. <laughs> November 7, 7, 3, 8, November, just going to maintain 3,200. Smith Mountain Lake Airport, 12 o'clock, and about uh, one, two miles. Just advising you have either the Roanoke or the Lynchburg weather. There's no information available, uh, weather information available there. Rod, oops. Roger that. We will go ahead and pick up the weather over at Roanoke, and then we'll advise when we get that. 7, 7, 3, November, thanks. Uh, 3, 8, November, just going to maintain 3,200. Just send me team 3,200, 773, November. 8 November, just be advised, there is no tower there at Smith Mountain Lake Airport. I can only clear you for the visual to the airport. Roger, we're actually going to go ahead and cancel with you right now for 773, November, but appreciate it. Thank you. Number 773, 8 November, uh, IFR cancellation received, squawk VFR, change to advisory frequency approved. There will be a uh, diamond traffic, previously called diamond traffic, is about uh, four miles west of your position, maneuvering 2000. Um, whenever you do uh, decide to depart, just call me airborne. Roger, we will call you airborne, switching to advisory, and we'll keep an eye out for that traffic. 773, November, thank you. All right. You want me to do calls for this, or are you going to do them? You can do them. I don't care. We're working together today. All right. Smith Mountain Traffic, Turkey, 7738 November, on a six mile 45, going to enter left traffic for 05, Smith Mountain Lake. We'll configure to land when we get a little closer. I don't have the field, do you? Uh, I see yet. where it's supposed to be, but I don't see it yet. Not yet. Uh, no, I don't have Okay. Where are we at? Four miles? So we'll just enter a downwind. Yeah, what, uh, you're going to have to get us down pretty quick to the 1800, so go ahead and do that. And we should be seeing that airport at any time.
Mammoth Mountain Traffic, Cherokee 773, November is on a 45 entering a left downwind for 05 Smith Mountain Lake. Three miles away. I is it right in front of us? That little white building? It's right here. Yeah, I think that is it. I think we're going to go trees. Ooh, nice. So that does look like that's hangers, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so yep, just use that. That is going to be it. Okay. Some of these airports are a little hard to find in the middle of the trees by the lake. Yeah, no yep. kidding. Okay, so I got the runway, so you're good. Yep. All right, so 18 hundo. Ooh, pretty approach. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Okay, so you're going to come over trees a little bit? Yeah, we're going to stay a little higher, but we'll probably use full flaps unless the winds don't let us. Make sure it's full right, shield pump, landing light, rotating beacon are all on. Pedo heat, car heat's off within that wide arc. First notch flaps, 10 degrees. Smith Mountain traffic, Cherokee 773, November's on downwind. Smith Mountain traffic, Smith Mountain Lake. Smith Mountain Lake, Smith Mountain Lake. Smith. All, I told you, look at all the boats. I would go out a little further on this I one. just saw the end of the runway. That's all I was looking for. Yeah. Get a nice, good square up with this one, because I don't think we're going to have a lot of room to get over those trees. So. I knew this was going to be a resort community. This is all big houses and lakes, lake lots. Pretty. Oh, yeah, that's gorgeous. I want to go down and go water skin. <laughs> Smith Mountain Lake, Cherokee 773, November turning base, runway 09, uh, 05, Smith Mountain Lake. I can't say that. Smith Mountain Lake? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Keep that circle around. These boats are probably like, who the heck is that? Probably know all the airplanes around here. Airspeed's looking good, altitude's good, all gauges are still in the green. We are on the fullest tank. Second notch flaps 25. Smith Mountain Lake, Cherokee 773, November on final 05, Smith Mountain Lake. Very careful. <laughs> all right, do this. Okie dokie. Little bit of wind. Well done! <laughs> I love the drop because of the wind. That's always fun. Did you love the uh, airplane that is sitting in front of the runway on that side? I saw it, yeah. There's our gas right there. Perfect. Oh, it looks just like Foley. <laughs> no shimmy. No shimmy shack. All right. Cool. Well, that wasn't too shabby. Sweet. I'm definitely glad I used flaps 40 on that one, though. Got oh, yeah. it nice and slow. No, we needed to do that on this little. Okay, so we just landed at, we're in Virginia. We're at Smith Mountain Lake Airport, I believe. 50 feet wide, 3,000 feet long. Beautiful approach coming over the water. Cute little airport. Definitely gonna do some quick filming and stuff. We're just getting gas right now, and then uh, we'll be getting back in the air, and we should have about two, maybe two and a half hours until we get to Spartanburg, aka Greenville. Smith Mountain, wow. Smith Mountain Lake, <laughs> CTAP. Uh, we are gonna be back taxiing down runway 527, or 23, excuse me, to uh, take off on runway five, Smith Mountain. I like traffic sky, zero four Romeo's five miles to the south. We're gonna be uh, five miles straight in for runway five. Smith Mountain, Smith Mountain Lake traffic, uh, Cherokee 773 in November is taking runway five for a straight out departure, Smith Mountain.
All right, so there's nothing to the right, so we should go right and uh, start making Where our way Where was that right traffic way. that was lining up for runway five coming from? They're right directly behind you. I'm opening my vent now, I'm hot. Cog zero four Romeo is three mile final, runway five for them. Smith Mountain traffic, Cherokee 773 in November just departed runway 5. We are departing the area to the southwest, Smith Mountain. Approach Cherokee 773 in November would like to pick up IFR to Sierra Papa Alpha, please. November 7738 November, standby one. I uh, have to pull that out of the machine. Roger, standing by 773 in November. November 38, November, maintain VFR, squawk 2454. 2454, 773 in November, maintain VFR. November 38, November, radar contact, four miles southwest of Whiskey 91 Airport. Third to Spartanburg Airport via direct, climb and maintain 8,000. Clear to Spartanburg Airport via direct, climb and maintain 8,000, 773 in November, thank you. November 3 at November Reback, correct? Alright everybody, so we are on our way to Spartanburg. Right now, even though we are in a climb, it only says 1 hour 35 minutes, which is great. All of our gauges are in the green. We've got full tanks. Takeoff was super easy. We had a little bit of traffic, but we are plenty high, so that's no big deal at all. And uh, we're already talking to approach, so this should be a quick, probably hour, 20 minute flight once we actually level off at 8,000. That is where our winds were the best, so we'll see if that ends up being the case. And it'll keep us above these mountains, so we're good. Good afternoon, Greensboro Approach, Cherokee 773 in November is checking in 8,000. Cherokee 773 in November, Greensboro, good afternoon, I'll 3018. 3018, 38 November, thanks. You sound extremely chipper for it to be a Tuesday. I'm just in a good mood, but I appreciate you noticing, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, everybody, so we just leveled off at 8,000 feet. All of our gauges are in the green, currently going 122. We'll see what these winds decide to do. It said it was going to be a tailwind. It's looking like a headwind, so we might even descend down to 6,000. But there's also some clouds and some mountains and some bumps down there. So it might stay up here anyways and just take a little bit longer to our, get to our destination. And if you guys didn't hear that, ATC recognized how much of a good mood I'm in. So I think it's probably just because... Obviously, I'm flying, but I also get to go and see my best friend, and we will be there in about an hour and 20 minutes, so feeling good. I'm excited. Good afternoon, Atlanta. Cherokee 773 November is checking in 8,000. Cherokee 773 November, Atlanta Center, the 8 Girl Thermos 3015. 3015, November, thanks. 3 November, you navigating right to the field now? Affirmative for 773 in November. All right, we are under the one hour mark. We have 54 minutes. Um, airspeed is still pretty pitiful. We're only looking at 123, 133 over the ground, which is a little better. CHT is 402, all gauges in the green. Gonna be switching tanks probably right before landing and everything else is pretty spot on. Got some clouds up here, but it's not super bumpy, which is nice. And now we're talking to Atlanta. So this is going pretty darn fast. We may not be able to tell, but we just went through a cloud. In Atlanta approach, uh, Cherokee 773 in November. Was that last transmission for us? Sorry, November, yes, ma'am. I have a reroute for you. Just let me know whenever you're ready to copy it. Ready to copy 773 in November. 73 in November, clear to Sparberg Airport via direct to Eric's Mound. That's spelled Bravo, Zulu, Mike. Swing, which is spelled Sierra, Whiskey, Echo, November, Kilo, then direct. 
Okay, we are clear to Spartanburg via Bravo Zulu Mike and then Zulu Whiskey Echo November Kilo for 773 in November. November 3 and November Negative Swank is Sierra. Sierra Whiskey Echo November Kilo. Barrett Mountain Swank. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so Bravo Zulu Mike and then Sierra Whiskey Echo November Kilo 773 in November. Let's see how bad this reroute is. Okay, BZM. Barrett Mountain, Taylorsville, North Carolina. Okay. And then our next one will be Swink. Direct, enter, enter. Let's see how bad it is. We're turning to the right. Whee. <laughs> Pops wasn't in the mood to fly today, so he's just being a passenger, hanging out, relaxing, all that good stuff. And that puts us at like 52 minutes, so it really wasn't that bad at all. I'm hitting all the buttons right now. There we go. Yeah, we're just going around uh, Charlotte's airspace, actually. They're bringing us all the way around that class Bravo, which actually makes a lot of sense, so that's not a big deal. Approach Cherokee 773 in November with request. I'm sorry, who had a request? This is Cherokee 773 8 November. Number 773 8 November, go ahead. I've got a pretty good build up right in front of me. I'd like to deviate about uh, well, 10 degrees to the left just to get around it, then I can get back on course for 773 in November. 3 November deviation off the course approved, land direct swing. Okay, left deviation's approved, and when I'm direct, I'll let you know 773 in November. Thank you. Okay, so normally I'm all about going into the clouds, but I can tell the winds up here are pretty brutal, and uh, these clouds are expanding quickly, so we're just gonna see if we can get around them. We have left deviations available to us. So we'll stay to the left of our course. And then as soon as we pass by these clouds here, I will go direct to Swink, which is my next waypoint. We're only about 13 minutes away, so we're making good time. But no, you gotta be in the mood for the bumps, you know? And I'm just not in the mood for that today. <laughs> but that just goes to show. So you can see I hit those bumps and I'm not even in the cloud. I'm just right next to it. All right, looking much better. Let's go back to Swink activate a nav mode and we might hit a few of these little clouds but at least we're past the big one and approach Cherokee 773 in November back on course to swing number three November Roger thanks you're welcome this controller is very nice getting warm open them events oh yeah We got a frequency over here yet? You already did AWOS, right? AWOS is good, yeah. I think he's going to set you up for 05 anyway. 3 November turn right, heading 240 vector sequence. 240 vector sequence, 773 November. A33, let me Charlie Group approach, Delta number 3012, descend to maintain 7000. Cherokee 3 November, turn left direct Spartanburg Airport. Left direct Spartanburg Airport, and we'll go ahead and cancel IFR with you at this time, please. 773 November. 773 November, under IFR cancellation is received. There is a conquest inbound to the airport to about 12 southwest on advisories. And Squawk VFR, change to advisory frequency is approved. Squawk VFR, change to advisory is approved. We'll look for the traffic. Have a great day. Thanks for your help, 3 November. Okay, we're going to go to their frequency. 1, 2, 3, you're on them. Okay. And we're still 17 miles out, so we won't make a call just yet. Spartanburg traffic, Conquest, 5 Southwest, and Mountford straight in, runway 5, Spartanburg. Okay, they're going straight in, so they should be no factor That's for this us. This guy, and this shelf is something. 2200, so if you get down to pattern, you'll be under it. I didn't even think we were going to go into that shelf. We might. I don't know. We might clip it at, uh, we, we won't go in it if we're at pattern. Okay. See it yet? No. I see a lot of stuff in front of us, but I don't see the airport yet. Traffic Cessna 56 Robert Tango, left cross wind, runway 3, get the hand. We're actually going to fly right over the top of the city. Great. Spartanburg traffic 553 Tango, Sierra 6 mile final, straight in, runway 5, Spartanburg. 
13 miles out. All right, I might see it actually out there in the distance behind that big building. I think that might be it too. That's about 10 miles. That's probably that's pretty probably, close. That's a big runway, so that probably is it. That big open field on the yeah. behind the city. Yeah, that's got to be it. Sparkberg traffic, 553, take us here. Two mile final, straight in, runway five, Sparkberg. Nice timing, dude. Spartanburg traffic, Cherokee 773, November 10 nautical miles to the north. We'll be entering a 45 for a left downwind runway 5, full stop Spartanburg. That's got to be it. Yeah. That's a big wide open spot, isn't it? Yep. It looks like there's a big hotel or two or three or five. I'm going to stay right downtown. The east out of 3,000. Spartanburg traffic, Cherokee 773 in November is now seven miles to the north, going to be entering a 45 left downwind runway five full stop, Spartanburg. Gastonia traffic, Cessna 340, CX, Fade Dining, left down and phone rate 3 for 45 degree, Gastonia. That's the airport, all right. 2,500, climbing in runway four. Looks like he's going to go for a straight in, so we just might have to slow it down a little. Or speed it up. Nah, I don't feel like doing that. It's bumpy. I don't feel any bumps. Runway 5, 5, 3, Tango 2, clear runway 5, Sparker. He thinks he's funny. Don't say five miles on this last call. Tell me you're in the downwind. I'm going to tell them we're on the 45 for the downwind. Just tell them you're in the downwind. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Usually she's got just a furious. Six miles to the east. We cross the midfield, going on the left hand wind, runway 5, full stop. Number 2 in behind uh, the traffic on that wind. Oh. Appreciate that, I'll keep my speed up for you. Thanks, Spartanburg. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. I don't know what you're thinking me for, but sure. No, oh, he did the right thing. He's going to fall into a left traffic. Yep. Yeah, Spartanburg, pretty big. Spartanburg traffic, Cherokee 773 in November is entering the 45 for the left hand wind, runway 5, full stop, Spartanburg. Dark traffic, Skyhawk 6 Romeo, 2 miles to the east, across the field, full left downwind for runway 4, Dark. Right. She said she wasn't going to go fast, she was going to slow down, and then she freaking gunned it. We're at 142. I don't know what she talked That's about. That's ground speed. Down. Tell them indicated. 109 Delta is approximately 5 miles to the. Tell them indicated. That's Vista Fury. I'm used to those. Those came out. <laughs> this is a lot of flying, man. I love it, don't get me wrong, but I am ready to go get some food and get out of the airplane for a little bit. Spartanburg traffic, Cherokee 773 in November is on the left downwind runway 5, full stop, Spartanburg. We'll be crossing the departure end, giving way for the traffic on downwind for runway 5, full stop, Spartanburg. Try this again. Spartanburg traffic, Cherokee 773 in November is on the left downwind runway 5, full stop, Spartanburg. All right. Crossing the departure end. I still don't even see him. I think oh, we have plenty gonna, of time. He's going to cross way down there. That's the departure end, Dad. I just was saying I still don't see him. No, you're not even going to see him until you're maybe right in front of him. He's way over there. Slow down, baby. I want to put some flaps in. Come on. First notch. Looks good. Spartanburg traffic, Cherokee 773 in November is turning left base, runway 5, full stop, Spartanburg. Okay, 
Delta, 2 miles to the west at 1,800. Gonna be in area left of downwind runway 3, yes, sir. Traffic. Second notch. King Air 3 4 Lima Tango 15, southeast and back. Finals clear. Traffic Bonanza is now crossing midfield, you're gonna left down rim. We're on runway 5, full stop, smart bird. Nice. Spartanburg traffic, Cherokee 773, November is turning final runway 5, full stop, Spartanburg. Spartanburg traffic, Bonanza is now turning left downwind for one, one, runway 5, to full stop, Spartanburg, number 2 behind the Cherokee. That's right. Kind of a funky pattern, but at least we didn't hold him up too much. Got him, got him, he's right up on us. Okay, so Drake 1089 Delta, Savage left downwind, runway 3, get set to. Looks like a sloping runway once again. Yes, it does have a little bit of a curve. Unicom. Yeah, go ahead for 773 November. Any services for you today? We are going to be spending the night and then we'll have you guys fill us up actually tomorrow morning before we depart for 773 November. Roger, if you'll uh, pull onto a tie down spot uh, off the runway there on the right hand side of the FBO and find a spot and we'll get you taken care of. Sounds good. We'll do that now. Appreciate it. 3 November. Everybody, we finally made it. We spent about five hours or so in the air today, and it's going to be nice to go to dinner and just have a good time. So I'll see you guys either out there or in the next video. Bye.